all right guys so you guys have seen me create my mood board if you guys missed that video i will link it up here and down below this is the pendant light that i want for my living room so first i got this embroidery hoop i thought that they were two put together so i could separate them and then i got these pendant um what do they call them please comment down below if you know what they call them because i just temporarily forgot what they're called pendants is what i'm gonna refer to i refer them as uh, for this video so I tried to separate the two because I thought it was just two in one but however spoiler alert I realized that it's actually one and they have mushed it together and this is how I realized so I split the wood and I mean temporarily I was disappointed and then I realized actually I can't separate them it is just one I'll have to go get another one so that's what I did I went to the store and I got another one um, I was bummed though because I thought okay it was two in one however I realized I can still reuse the one that I split and I'll just use a new one so I couldn't find my spray paint for the life of me so I decided to paint them myself and then I took one of my um, light 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 what do i call this oh my gosh i can't remember to call anything and i use a marker to mark off what uh the size of the hole that i need to cut out on one of these so that i can basically loop it through it's a bit self-explanatory and more hard to explain actually um so what i did was i cut out the middle of the circle that i drew in so that i can be able to fit uh the light fit uh, the lighting or the light string or the light cord wow i really don't know what to call this uh so i can fit it through uh this now i just forgot what i was talking about embroidery hoop like this this is what i was trying to explain this entire time hence i am saying most of the things that i'm saying they're mostly self-explanatory comment down below if i should just cut out the voiceovers because i think while you see me do it it's a whole lot easier so then i got the pendants out and i started studying the um, instructions on how to assemble it the instructions were very simple and very easy however i ended up not really needing um the wires that you're supposed to insert inside so it, it holds it open but you guys will see that shortly in the next few minutes so i just uh, put them in just so i can see what i was working with see the sizing do i like the sizing do i not like the sizing and then started working out how am i gonna glue this all together but obviously because of the metal thing inside i couldn't really use that template because it was sliding all over around hence why i ended up taking it out so i just put this in the smaller one because i wanted to see where am i gonna cut it and how it's all gonna fit together it's all about dry fitting and trying to see if your vision is gonna come together and how it should come together that's mainly what i'm just doing and then now that i have worked it all out i started cutting the smaller pendant but not halfway through i started cutting it i'll say two thirds um through so that i can be able to still glue the 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 part that i cut out because it looks very untidy so i just want to create a seam for it so this is what it looks like when um i stretch it um open so i got my hot glue out and i started gluing up um the rough edges so that it can look neater and basically creating a seam for it so i basically cut it in a way that i can have um seam allowance rainy if you say basically one more time I'd just like to add that creating this pendant light was very easy it took me less than 30 minutes maybe i'll say 20 minutes maximum that's what it took me to create that's how long it took me to create this pendant uh not this pendant this light fixture basically that was inspired by so many people it stems it seems like it's more on the japandi style of um 
trends and interior design but i just somehow like it like i said you can mix up styles as long as they come together very well you don't have to stick to one style it's easy to fall in love with a couch that's mid-century when you're into modern stuff so it's a way of how you put it all together so now that i have covered up the seams and they look neater i am going to hot glue one of these embroidery embroidery hoops um to the back of of the pendant so what i did was i cut off the mesh right on top because i realized that i don't need it for the second one because when the light comes through it's going to create a pattern you can keep it if you like the light shining through in uh, i don't know crisscross patterns obviously but i didn't want that for myself because i felt like the light fixture was already bringing enough to the table <laughs> so i didn't want to add more complexity to the whole design but however you can keep it if you like patterns glowing on the walls or on the floor then you can keep it but in my case i decided to take it out which was very easy by the way then now that i have it out i'm going to hot glue this embroidery hoop to the pendant what I want to tell you guys is that working with hot glue, you need to ensure that you don't burn yourself because chances of that happening are very high. So try and find a way to not burn yourself. And another thing, it requires you to work extremely fast, otherwise it starts to set. But if you realize that yours is starting to set, what I would advise you to do is go with the tip of the hot glue gun over that area again just so that you can um, go back to melting that glue all over again. So it's not really much of a train smash, but you need to be able to work fast with it otherwise it just starts setting and it can create more of a job for you than an ease so now i'm just working out how the big one is gonna fit onto all of this and then i realized that actually to make it easier let me take out the wire in the middle and then deflate it if i shall say and i'm sorry for the background noise i like filming my voiceovers in the evening when everybody is quiet and sleeping but however there are people outside my window making a noise so i do apologize if you catch a bit of background noise so anyways i started hot gluing the other side of the embroidery hoop so that i can attach the bigger pendant onto everything So ensuring that you put everything in the center and every, everything is centered once you're confident press everything down i wouldn't suggest that if you have it a wrong place to pull it apart because this material on the pendant is very highly sensitive so it's easy for it to just rip apart or rip away shall i say it's made out of paper well it feels like it's made out of paper so i would be very careful and i would um, take my time as to where i want to place everything once you have the hot glue on and everything like that because it'll be very difficult for you to move anything around one thing about hot glue it is not very forgiving so if you place something somewhere it needs you to be certain that that's where you want it So now hot gluing um, the embroidery hoop where I made the small little holes so we can um, be able to hang it off the ceiling. I'm putting this on top of the bigger one. So with this I went with two different sizes, a very small size, I'd say a large and a small. There is a medium size pendant but I didn't go with that one. I did want the sizes to differ and to be very evident that they are different sizes. And then we are basically done with our light fixture. That's how quick it is and that's how much affordable it was to create this. This pen and light is very expensive. I don't know of any um, stores that have it in South Africa, but however, the stores that I checked out that are in America or Europe, they are very expensive and we were able to create the site fixture for less than 100 rands so that is always great every time when we can save money and diy something ourselves hence why i like to diy some things because it makes sense to diy them financially than it does to actually um buy them if you can emulate something for less go for it so this is what it looked like after i um put it up 
and I really loved it. I was shocked that I was able to pull this off. I don't know why, but somehow it did seem doable, but I went seeing everything come together just blew me away. But anyways, lights on and this is what it looked like before and I'll show you guys what it looks like after.